She's fresh off her first professional win. All hail Haley Cowan is a Midway grad who trains at Blitz Sport in Robinson and just had her second professional fight of her career. This one happened on Friday night at the Bell County Expo Center. And she's, I don't know, I mean, this is like your first interview after the big win, Haley. And is it is it still fun to watch the video? Yeah, it's fun to watch the video. Um, I actually wanted a different ending, but I'm glad with the one that happened. <laughs> well, yeah, it, well, it, it was kind of fast. A minute and seven seconds? Yeah, a minute and nine seconds. A minute and nine yeah. seconds. Okay, and, and was the, this is like so new to me to see someone like you like you're an animal in the cage I don't know how do you turn it off and on well you know this fight I definitely was more of um, an animal I guess than my other ones I've always been the better athlete in there and this time I decided I was going to be the better fighter so I went in with a little bit of a meaner attitude and I don't know I do, guess it do I you guess. feel like you were out for revenge because your first professional fight you know there was a lot of hype surrounding yeah. it or whatever and I remember reading your Instagram that night after the loss and you just saying you know I'll be back I'll learn from this I'll be better um yeah you know I went undefeated as an amateur so mm -hmm. when I lost my first professional debut um I don't know I took it very I took it to heart and uh I trained really hard for this and uh went out and was able to execute what we you know what we worked on. So. It, does it? Hurt? It hurts me to watch it. <laughs> Lots of knees to the face. Was this part of the game plan? Uh, well, you know, I kind of went in with an open game plan. Uh, my coach Jake Brennan told me, you know, go in and, and take what you can get. And she was actually turning away from me as I would throw. And you can't hit them in the back of the head, so I would have to grab her and force her to face me. So the knees were there. So. I always like knees, though. <laughs> I think this is really uh, cool because this one happened in Belton, so a lot of your friends and family, and again, you train in Robinson, they were able to be there. I want to know what it's like for your mom to watch this. I mean, does she, does your, do your, <laughs> does your family get nervous, or do they get you know, just as uh, amped up as no, you No, they do? get really nervous. I think they're getting better each fight. Um, the first fight, my mom was, like, throwing up before the fight. My dad, <laughs> my dad is super loud at athletic events, but during my fights, he's dead quiet. During everyone else's, he's extremely loud. So I think they're getting used to it, and, and I haven't really been even really hit in the cage yet. So they've, even the fight that I lost, I didn't get hit very much. I got submitted. So uh, they were, I, I think that it hasn't been too bad yet. But I know I'm going to have a barn burner at some point that they're probably not going to like. Well, you were a competitive tumbler at yeah. Baylor. Mm -hmm. So what made you think that you wanted to be a fighter? You know, I, I was a gymnast from the time I was, I was competing by, from the time I was five all the way until I was 22 through college. And I developed a really specific set of skills and I wanted to do something with it. And it actually transferred perfectly to MMA. Started training, loved it, was really successful in the jiu-jitsu world and just decided I was going to fight. and I love it. I love it. I think it's been so cool to cheer you on. And do you know kind of what's next for you from here? Uh, we have something in the works. Not really quite sure. Hopefully I'll be fighting relatively local soon. So we'll see. I'll let y'all know. But in the meantime, know. you don't have to, you're, you had to weigh in under 126. You came at 125.5. Uh -huh. So now you're going to, you said pizza and Dr. Pepper? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Double Dave's after this. Oh, Double Dave's. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Congratulations. It's yeah, been really I, fun. We actually blitz sport. Uh, my team went 3-0, oh, which okay, is huge. So it's, I think, it's the third time that that's ever happened in the history of the organization, which is a really big deal. So Armando Villarreal and Desiree Yanez, they did an amazing job, too. Awesome. So. Congratulations to all. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back.